With the baby boom generation growing older, senior care facilities are becoming a big investment. In recent years, large investment firms have bought six of the nation's ten largest senior care chains. By cutting expenses and staff, sometimes below minimum legal requirements, companies are able to increase their profits. Atria will take people in at a level of competence that they don't have. My mother is 88 years old. She's almost 89. She's a tiger. She decided she wanted to be closer. And uh, we looked at a couple of senior residences. She made the decision very impulsively. And I, I know we've both regretted it. You know, how, how, well, how many times do you go and help your mother find a, you know, a senior home? We'd never done it before. Atria Senior Living Group is the largest provider of senior living services in New York State and one of the largest nationwide with more than 130 retirement and assisted living communities in 27 states. Atria communities are home to more than 14,000 seniors nationwide. Lazard, a powerhouse Wall Street firm that manages a portfolio of more than $140 billion, owns and manages Atria as a private equity investment. Every step of the way, services have been cut back and back and back. Promises have been broken. Medications given carelessly. People left waiting because an aide didn't come. It's really a a for-profit hotel, a residence hotel, that preys on the elderly. Bruce Wasserstein is chairman and CEO of Lazard Limited, the company tied to the company that owns Atria. Wasserstein is reportedly worth more than $2 billion and made $41 million in 2007, a whopping 25% of his company's revenue that year. He has five homes, including houses in Manhattan, the Hamptons, Santa Barbara, Paris, and London. In 2005, he took part of Lazard Frères public, fracturing the company into a complicated corporate structure which obscures ownership and reduces their liability. I'm working at Train Great Neck and Long Island, New York, for nine years. I'm working in the maintenance department, painting, electric repair, plaster, cleaning, shampoo. I make it $12 an hour, around $20,000, $20,000 a year. We have in our department five people working for maintenance. It's not enough people. Well, that's a big problem in our building, so most of the times so we're, short, we're running short staff. I've been working for Atra a little more than two years. During 2007 alone, state agencies faulted Atria's facilities for over 700 deficiencies, including failure to properly administer medicines, failure to prepare or respond to fires and other emergencies, and staffing-related deficiencies where the company did not staff at appropriate levels, didn't adequately train staff, or hire staff with proper qualifications. Frustrated with the situation at Atria, Robin Burson and Dino Vianis went to Lazard's shareholder meeting to speak with Bruce Wasserstein about the conditions at Atria and her mother's care. Lazard's shareholder meeting is held on the island of Bermuda, and by incorporating there, Lazard avoids paying many U.S. taxes. No cameras are allowed during the meeting. And on behalf of the board of directors and employees of Lazard, I'd like to welcome you to our 2008 annual general meeting of shareholders. We will now begin the question and answer period. Are there any questions? My name is Robin Burson and I live in New York City. My mother is a resident at Atria Riverdale, an assisted living facility in the Bronx that is part of the National Atria Senior Living Chain. I'm here today to ask you all to take some responsibility for what is happening at Atria. I am asking you all to honor a commitment to community, to decency, and to ethics. You have the power, you all have the power, to act decently and humanely and to improve the, the lives of thousands, tens of thousands of elderly in the last years of their lives and of decent workers who are just asking for a living wage and the right to unionize. Thank you. This company does not control the company that owns Atria. While Robin Burson and Dino Vianis were told Lazard was not responsible, 
They know the truth. Lazard can and should take responsibility for the failures of Atria. That's why Atria residents and workers are uniting to hold Lazard accountable for the many failures at their senior care facilities, including unfair, painfully high rent increases, breaking federal laws, and harassing and firing employees trying to start a union to improve conditions. Join them in telling Bruce Wasserstein and Lazard to fix Atria now.